Good morning, Big Picture Elementary. It's Mrs. Tovar here, and I am bringing you your announcements for the week of February 8th, 2022. So we're going to start with our flag salute. If you are not already standing, please stand and put your right hand over your heart. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right. Um, we will start with some birthdays for this week. On the 8th, today, is Victor V's birthday in first grade. Happy birthday, Victor. And then on the 9th, we have two birthdays, Aiden and Aaliyah in kindergarten. Happy birthday, you two. And then on the 10th, we have Lily T in seventh grade. So happy birthday, Lily. And on the 12th, we have Julian V in seventh grade. So happy birthday, Julian. Um, and then we do have some upcoming birthdays right here on the other side. Those will be announced next week, but if you see them, make sure you remind them. Um, our cafeteria challenge. Now, no one made it all the way to the finish line this week, uh, but we did have all the classes present. And I took a little snapshot here of the cars that were the furthest across our little road there. Uh, and uh, these five cars were the farthest. So I will give you guys a shout out. Um, the top car is Mrs. Duke's car. So fourth grade, whoop, whoop. Um, then we had Miss Bayani's class uh, was the next car right here. So woo, congratulations, Miss Bayani's class. And then the other fifth grade car is right here, Miss um, Marshall's, Miss Smith's class. Um, congratulations, guys. And in first grade, here's the first grade car, Miss um, Bispo's class. And the second grade car is right here, Miss Petite's class. So those are the cars that made it the farthest. No one made it to the finish line. Um, so I'm just going to do the shout out. So great job following all the expectations in the cafeteria. And just a reminder, looking at, here's the roadmap. This is what it looks like and we're ready for um, lunch tomorrow. All the cars are starting here at checkpoint one, which gives us, because it's a short week, four more checkpoints to be on the finish line by Friday. Four checkpoints, four days. So you're all at checkpoint one instead of starting over here, kind of like where the start would be. So everybody's here lined up. That's every car, every class. And then tomorrow, if you guys are following the expectations in the cafeteria, you're going to move to this sign where this line is, checkpoint two. So teachers, if you haven't checked out the bulletin board there, that's how it's been working. We move the car over to each checkpoint each day that the class is following the expectations. And then by Friday, this is like the last checkpoint. And that would mean that you made it to the finish line. So the way you're getting across is by um, lining up quietly and staying in line when you're getting ready to enter the cafeteria. When you're in the cafeteria, remembering to raise your hand if you need anything. So that could be like if you just need to throw your trash away. That could be if you need a ketchup packet or napkins or a fork or you forgot a milk. Whatever it is, you're raising your hand. You're not just getting up and walking around. The other thing is to make sure if you're not eating to have your mask on and um, the last expectation uh, aside from was I quiet, was I following directions, raising my hand, um, sitting quietly, uh, is that you need to be cleaning up your area. So did I pick up my area? And that's the last thing we check for to make sure is the top of the table clean is underneath the table clean. And if it is, your car moves forward. Um, so that's how that works. It's still the same lunch period. You sit on a paw print and there's the cars, they're ready to go. So. Um, Shout out to the classes that made it the furthest down the road the last week. And Spirit Week winners! Uh, looks like we had a, a minor change in a couple classes. The only one that stayed the same is the first one right there listed, the K through two pod winners. Uh, the little Panther Cub stays in Miss Petite's class for one more week because they had the highest percentage. But really, Miss Bispo's class First grade, you were so close, like only a couple percentage points away. So that just meant like a couple people, maybe, you know, spirit wear, and you guys would have 
been able to take that panther out of their class and put it in yours for that week. So you guys were very close. So congratulations, Miss Petite's class, second grade. You get to keep your panther cub, little Simba there. Um, but the third through fifth grade winner is Miss Duke's class. Woo! And you guys were very close to the fifth grade class, but Miss Duke's class got the highest percentage of spirit wear for this week. So the Panther Cub that was in fifth grade is going to move to the fourth grade classroom for this week. So you guys will have Bella the Panther and she's the one in the middle there. And then the last one is the sixth through eighth uh, grade pod winner. And that gets to move from seventh grade class to Miss Magdaleno's class. So you guys had the highest percentage this week. Yay! So congratulations, you guys will get Cleo for this week. And um, you guys can put those anywhere in your room to display and uh, congratulations. We'll see who gets them next week. Wear your spirit wear on Fridays, wear your green, your yellow, a school shirt, whatever you have. And we will count on Friday to see how many. Even if you're on Zoom, we will count you. All right, our purple tickets. I drew six, uh, Actually, I drew seven, but two of them were the same person. So um, these are the names that I drew when I drew the purple tickets that were turned in. And remember, if I call your name, you can go to the office window and see Miss Natalie or Miss Lopez at the window, and you can pick a little, um, a small prize out of the treasure box that she has right there. So if I call your name and I read what wonderful things you did to earn yourself a purple ticket, then you get to go to the window when you hear your name read right now. Uh, so Aiden B in fifth grade, your name got drawn twice. So I put them both on here. Once it was from Miss Risa and she said um, that he stayed on task all day and had a positive attitude. And that is wonderful. That was great. Thank you, Aiden. And then Mr. Torres also gave you one for ELP and he said you cleaned up the class. So thank you for doing so well and earning yourself two tickets. Um, and then the second one I pulled was Nico's um, from sixth grade from Miss Sanchez. She said, you were working hard to complete your missing work. So great job. It is very important to do your missing work and to get that turned in. So thank you, Nico. Um, and then the third one I drew was David G in kindergarten. Um, Mrs. Cole wrote that he was following expectation number five, which is to always do your best. So great job doing your best, David. And then our fourth one that I drew was from Mrs. Lutz to Miss Isabella R in seventh grade. And she said that she was being on task and was very prepared. So thank you very much, um, Isabella, for always being your best by staying on task and coming prepared to do your work. Um, and then, so these are all great expectations of Panthers, by the way. So I'm loving this. Um, the fifth one I drew was another kindergarten student. Grayson P. Mrs. Cole wrote a purple ticket for you because you followed two of our school's expectations. You followed expectation one and four during all of your stations. So you followed directions and you stayed on task through all your four stations. That is wonderful. Great job, Grayson. Um, and the last one I drew was Zachary D. in eighth grade from Ms. Lopez. Uh, she said that you were picking up excuse me, picking up trash. And that is wonderful because our campus needs to look as wonderful as our Panthers are. So thank you for doing such a wonderful job, all of you. And you can come to the window and get something from the treasure box. And then don't forget, we do have the Wednesday Roar store for you out at your out at recess at the blue tables. On Wednesday, you can bring out the purple ticket stubs that you got for turning these tickets in and you can spend them at the Roar store during your lunch recess, okay? All right, um, safety guideline reminders for campus. This is not just things that are happening during the school day. This is for ELP too. You need to be wearing your mask all the time when you're indoors, whether you're in ELP, whether you're in the cafeteria, when you're not eating or in your classroom, that mask needs to be on and it has to cover your nose and your mouth, okay? It can't be hanging down on your chin or off, okay? If you were at school, it is on and it has to stay on until, you're, until you go home. So even in the LP, it has to be on. 
Um, and if you're running on the field too, if you're close to other people, it needs to be on. Um, you have to keep your distance from other people. It doesn't have to be six feet, but you have to give yourself space, especially if you're wanting a mask break outside, you have to make sure no one is around. If you're in line, you have to give a little space between you, but that mask should be on because you're so close to people when we're lined up. So just be very careful about the distance between yourself and others. Um, as much as you can, you should be grabbing the wipes from the wipe tower in your classroom and wiping down your desk. Um, and the rails get sprayed and the bathroom knobs get sprayed, but they don't go inside and spray until the end of the day. So it's a good thing to wipe any counters um, or desks when you come back from um, recess or a break. Um, but uh, most importantly, if you don't feel well, you don't come to school. You have your family call and let us know that you're not feeling well and then you just won't come to school. Um, we would give you work if you aren't coming. Uh, other than that, families, we have all the information to keep you updated on our safety guidelines for our school on Parent Square, on our Facebook, and we have a remind as well. Um, and then let's end with Cubby's five expectations. So expectation number one is listen. Expectation number two is to keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Expectation number three is to use kind words. Expectation number four is to stay on task. And expectation number five is to always do your best. And I hope that we are all doing that, Panthers. And I do hope you have a wonderful week. And it is a short week since we didn't have school Monday, but I will see you around and I hope you have a wonderful day.